Uh, the next step in the process after uh, the drawings have been approved by our customer would be to uh, start laser cutting what we call our first piece inspection. So our engineers hand over the job at that point to our A operators, which are our setup operators. Um, they set up the, the, the job on the machine and they run a first piece. So the engineers created a, the CAD file. The CAD file is then saved to a USB drive, which is then inserted into the laser machine so that we can use that to run our program. You know, we're able to hold it with our lasers in, in the range of plus or minus a thousand on parts under 12 inches, plus or minus two thousandths on parts over 12 inches and key features, um, you know, we could have a part over 12 inches, but on key features, we might be able to inspect down to you know, plus or minus a thou on slot dimensions and things like that. So now we have our first piece cut. We're gonna take it out of the sheet, take it over to the quality lab, measure all the dimensions and make sure it meets all the print requirements. So you have our first piece out here. The setup man will check for uh, edge quality, make sure everything looks in order. Once, if it, as long as it passes a visual inspection, we'll go ahead and take it to the quality lab for a full inspection. Surprise. That first piece then gets distributed to our inspection department and um, along with the traveler and uh, there's a number of things that our inspectors are going to verify prior to uh, letting this job get released for full production. Um, so uh, some of the things that we would look at, number one, would be making sure we have the right material. We look at material certs. We look at the material thickness uh, to make sure that we're, we're cutting the right thickness of the material. And then we, on our optical CMM here, uh, we inspect all the key components and all the critical dimensions of that part to make sure we're within the uh, designated tolerances. After the inspection is complete, a CMM report will be generated and this documents all the actual dimensions compared to the print requirements. If anything were to be out of tolerance, it would show up in this column. As you can see on this report, all of the dimensions were to print. Once QC uh, approves the part, they sign off that it's good for production and then it gets handed over back to our A operator and they have the authorization to proceed with the production on the lasers until that part is complete. So when the, when the parts come off of the laser, um, they'll go through a sanding process, uh, again, to remove any dross that might be relevant on the edges of the part. Uh, this is only done on one side of the part. Um, and reason being is, as you saw on the laser, uh, the dross is only going to be relevant on one side of the part. So on, on the other side, it's basically untouched. Uh, we maintain the integrity of the coating. Um, and then when we stack these coming off, off the machine, uh, they're all stacked in the same direction. So sanded side is always going to be stacked, uh, sanded side down when we send the, send the stack. Um, if, it's a, if, it's, if it's a critical application, um, we do have the ability to recoat these laminations as well with C5 or C6 coating. We do that in house. One of the other nice things about laser cutting um, is when you do have a larger stator core like this, you get a pretty large center drop. Um, we're able to save those center drops and reuse those for some of the smaller laminations that we do. Uh, in-house. So those center drop, that material gets credited back uh, to you uh, so that we keep the price uh, reduced and um, we are able to, you know, repurpose some of the material without just having to scrap it and throw it away. Um, everything here is certified um, by the mill. Uh, we do our own certifications in-house as well with our Epstein testing to verify certs and um, everything is traceable back uh, by lot number uh, to the original mill search. So if there's ever a question, uh, we have full traceability back to that, that job.